Hello friends we are back with our new video in this video i will discuss how to plot state level categorical data across the united states in r using ggplot2 that you can use for your official presentation or in your publication this video is pretty similar to our previous video how to plot state level data across the us in r using ggplot2 which was meant for continuous data not categorical data in today's video we consider the state level election result data for 2020 the data is collected from the summaries provided by the guardian stats wither doesn't provide any guarantee to the authentication of such data we tabulate the data into an excel sheet uselection.xlsx you can email us at learnstatisticswith@gmail.com if you want the tabulated data to read the data from the excel sheet we need the package read excel So we install the package using the function install dot packages, and call the package using the function library. Next, we read the data using the function read underscore excel. Once we run the code, a table elect dot us will be generated. Let's run. Now let's see how the table looks like. Note that the rows are not in the alphabetical order of the state names. Next, before we proceed, we need the package US map. So, install and call the package US map using the functions install dot packages and library, similar to the package read excel. Next, to link with the nomenclature of the package US map. that considers alphabetical order of the state names first we reorder the rows of the table elect.us once we run the code note that the rows are now arranged in the alphabetical order next we need the fips and abbreviated state names to proceed further they are available in the data state pop available in the package us map so we extract them and add to the table elect.us once we run the code we have the final table elect.us note that there are two new columns fips and abbr the variable we want to plot is winner the second column next we need the package ggplot2 so install and call it similar to the other packages now we are ready to create the ggplot in the console window type plot us map data equals to elect.us the table values equals to winner within quotes the variable we want to plot levels equals to true this prints the abbreviated state names now press enter okay you get your first aerial map there are some things that we need to change let's do step by step first note that the colors are not the standard blue and red colors that identify the democratic and republican states rather just the default colors of ggplot2 are used to fix this add scale fill manual values equals to a vector of colors blue and red both the color names within quotes note that the ordering of colors is the alphabetical order of the names that is first biden then trump now press enter okay you get your second aerial map You can see that the map is in blue and red. Next, note that the blue and red colors are too dark. You might be interested to fade both the colors slightly. To do that, add 
alpha equals to 0.8 within plot us map if you want the colors to be more faded use a smaller value of alpha the default is alpha equals to 1 now press enter okay you get your third aerial map you can see that the colors of the map are slightly faded. Next, note that for the red states, it is okay to read the abbreviated state names, but for the blue states, it is quite hard to see. One option would be to color the state names in white. To do that, add level underscore color equals to white within quotes within plot us map if you want a different color choose accordingly now press enter okay you get your fourth aerial map you can see that the state names are in white now and it is much easier to read them next note that the legend title is not informative if we mention the details in the plot title Adding a legend title would be providing repeated information. So you might want to remove the legend title. To do that within scale fill manual add name equals to null. If you want to add some legend title replace null with your chosen name. Now press enter. Ok you get your fifth aerial map. You can see that the legend title is removed. Next, you might be interested to add a plot title, say US election 2020 winners. Also, you might want to place it at the top center and allow a big font size. To do this, add GG title US election 2020 winners this adds the title then add within theme plot dot title equals to element text size equals to 20 this increases the font size and h just equals to 0.5 this places the title at the center now press enter ok you get your sixth aerial map you can see that the title is added and it is at the top center. Next, we need to fix the legend. One option is to move it to the right side of the figure. Another option is to move it below the figure. We pick this second choice. Also, the legend is small. So we need to enlarge the key height, key width plus we need to rotate it in the horizontal direction and also we want to keep it at the bottom center. To do this within theme add legend dot position equals to a vector 0.36 comma minus 0.05. The first argument indicates the left end of the legend key and the negative sign of the second argument indicates that we want to keep it slightly below the figure. Legend dot direction equals to horizontal. This aligns the legend in the horizontal direction. Legend dot key dot width equals to unit 0.8 comma inch within quotes. Legend dot key dot height equals to unit 0.4 comma inch within quotes this increase the height and width of the legend key respectively choose other numbers according to your choice legend dot text equals to element text size equals to 15 this increases the font size of the names of the presidential candidates on the legend here we choose the arguments for legend.position manually so that the legend is printed at the center. Now press enter. 
Okay, you get your final aerial map. You might consider this plot for your presentation or in your publication. If you want some other features, let us know in the comment section or by email. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon for more updates.